the family of the late Christopher James Rujumba donated 10 acres of land to the Pamoja 2027 project, on which a 20,000-seater stadium is to be constructed. Erifaz Kiza Rujumba, one of the sons of the late Christopher Rujumba, says the land has been leased to FUFA for a 49-year period. We signed our name OU with FUFA when we gave them the first 10 acres that the, the land is easy to them, it is land to them for 49 years and that they would be getting some proceedings, small proceedings for the family, to maintain the family from their income. We were able to receive the family of the late Njumba who came to us and donated to us 10 acres of land if we can construct a stadium there and we accept it. Rujumba implored FUFA and government to ensure that tournament preparations don't suffer any hiccups. To make sure they bring AFCON to, uh, to, to Uganda, that will be a big achievement to FUFA, to FUFA and Uganda. To we expect a lot of benefits from uh, that field. Like roads. January 2026 is the deadline for final inspection by CAF to ascertain preparedness by hosting countries. FUFA President Moses Magogo reiterates that the stadium will be ready by December 31st, 2025. Because the next thing the contractors will definitely take the topology study, the topological study of the land, and then also get the size of the land from where they will propose designs that we need to approve as a country and if agreed then the construction will begin. We believe that by 31st December 2025, which is the time given by CAF, the stadium should be up and running. State Minister for Sports, Honorable Peter Ogwang, says that the total cost of the stadium will be known when final inspection happens next month. As far as the issue of the cost is concerned, is one of the reasons why the contract has come on the, on the ground. Number two, we also it is us. Like we well, clearly said that we need a 20,000 seater stadium here, a multi-purpose stadium. So now it's going to be a, 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 a calculated cost. Hoima City Mayor Brian Kaboyo says the city will waive charges and costs that would have been incurred by the constructor, like taxes and license fees. Uh, Rogers has told you that we, are, we waived off all, all the uh, fees because we're supposed to charge 2,800 square meter. Per square meter, according to reservation of National Building Review Board. So, as we said, no, we need this project in the city because it will give uh, give a first gift and many many things will come with it. So, the Nelson Mandela National Stadium and Nashivbo Stadium are the other facilities earmarked to host matches during Afcon 2027. Felix Manindo, NTV Sport.